Cleanup time, Muggs. Uh, we got a big mess here we got to clean up. And I haven't made a video to show you where we are, but I will in a minute, because you know me. We're on a nature trail. Just yeah. throw there. Too bad nobody uh, brings them back. Yeah, they just leave their litter behind, but it looks like whoever is having a party here is now mature and grown up with kids and a real job because all these containers look a little old. I just read an article in today's newspaper in the nature section about a fellow who says when you're going on a nature trail it's just so distracting when you see crap lying on the side of the trail. Hot dogs. People throw their trash away or just leave it behind whether it's worms that go into the woods or their fishing lines or their cigarette butts. Oh, got the mother load. So we came on this nature trail that someone just told us about last week and we saw this litter, all these beer cans, so we said when we come back we would bring a trash bag. So we did. Because you got to do your part. Because you can't fool with mother nature. Sounds like it. I hear it. I'm glad you liked my video about Spike Punk's friend Blair on the forums. He was known as Blair442 because he had a 71 W30 convertible that I think he knew of when it was brand new, maybe in Gander, Newfoundland, where he grew up. Anyways, he bought it in 76, and it was supposedly worn out, beat up, rusted, but And then he traveled to Ecuador because he was an airline mechanic. And he found a 69 Vista Cruiser that I put in the video. He got that back. And he had it shipped back, or I'm not sure how he got it back. I don't know the story. I hadn't talked to Blair in a long time. A long time. And he put some 442 badges in it. And I don't know what motor it has. don't know much about it at all. I've seen pictures of it. And he found the 72 that Spike Punk put back together. It was from California. It was here in, in the States. I mean the eastern part of New York, rather, sorry. And he painted it and made it all nice and pretty. Took the top end off the motor. But he was inspired by Blair 442. And there's also a, another users group I wasn't even familiar with. There's a lot of them, I suppose. Yahoo groups called GM Skywagons, which is the Buick Sport Wagon, which wasn't as popular as the Oldsmobile. And uh, I guess it's a chat room. I went to look at it, and it showed a picture at the very top of Blair, maybe in front of his house, with his 69 Vista Cruiser 442. I wish I was able to get more pictures at the funeral, but I didn't, unfortunately. I wasn't there for very long. And I wanted to get it up before it was stale. So that's it. We're doing our part to clean up the campsite so there'll be more room for somebody else to make a big mess. Sun's going down. And where are we? I'll show you a bit more later on in the video. We're below the waterfalls that I videoed a couple of weeks ago. This is a little down river. Some good rock outcroppings here. There. There's the waterfall. There. We got some good flow. And this flows all the way to Lake Champlain. This is winter runoff. Winter runoff melt from the Adirondack Mountains, and it's flowing at a good clip, I tell you. Probably faster than a 71 Buick with a 455 and a rumbly cam. <laughs> I don't know how they could afford the fuel for those vehicles. Fuel in The Hague, the Netherlands, Denmark, got to be 10, 12 bucks a gallon. Probably $3 a liter times four, 12 bucks. Doing all right there, Mr. Muggs? 
Just want to go find some of those squirrelies. All right, that's it. You got your treasure chest. We're done. Off to the uh, redemption center. We'll cash it in and buy more beer, right, Muggs? Uh oh. There we go. I think there's a bit more, just a little ways down there if you want to take one little walk. Alrighty. We're walking out of the woods. I just told Mrs. CW that I bought another another pickup truck with a plow and she's mad at me. So she's gone. I told her that I bought my buddy's 84 Silverado K20 turbo diesel. Whoa, baby. Right on the edge. Those waters are churning. Hey, uppers. More junk. You bought another T Ruck? Well, it's got a plow on it. How many plows do you need? Well, gotta have an extra plow. So she's mad at me. But, oh, that water comes up high. Yep. High watermark. Rocky Ledge, which reminds me of a few of the houses we went to look at before we bought the one we bought. Sitting high up off the water, but you couldn't get to the water unless you dove off the rocky cliff. It's pretty, but no good. I like the place we bought, Jethel Slope, to the bank. A little bit of a sandy beach. Fix up, clean up real soon. Gotta love Mother Nature. Nothing beats it. Nothing beats Mother Nature. A walk on a nature trail. Too bad I had to tell Mrs. CW about the T-Ruck. Got new fenders, Chinese fenders, the back's kind of rusty. Looks good from far. It's got a 6.2 Turbo 400, I think, and a Banks turbocharger. I'll go and get it real soon. Almost at the end of the trail. You bought another T Ruck? You have so many T Rucks. We could have used that money for my Acura. Yeah, we should have been in Florida today. Sunday, Easter Sunday. No Florida. Swampland here. Good place for the peepers.
I heard them a few minutes ago. Big trees. Hemlock. Spruce. A hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. I live in the Adirondacks. A hunting we will go. Ooh, ooh. A little wet. Gorgeous here in the Adirondacks. I we have a Yep. Water rises rapidly. Hmm. The cable in the ground. I'll have to bring my cordless grinder and grind that out of there. That's it. The nature trail ends right here. Wow. What a sunset. Yeah, this is all man-made. There's a water flume inside there. And power is generated underground. I was in the building a couple years ago. Got these monster generators grinding away, making hydroelectric power from water. There it is. There she blows. Up we go. Up the bank. Man-made. Whoa, it's steep. Sunset over the Adirondacks. the water. Not Niagara Falls, but it'll do. Yeah, who knows what this looked like a hundred years ago. Or man tamed it, conquered it, as they say in those TV shows. All right, I got to go catch up to Mrs. C.W. so she can yell at me some more. Tell me how. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cause us to go bankrupt. You ever hear that from your important other? Your significant other? You're going to cause us to go bankrupt. We just paid our taxes last week, let me tell you. Could have bought a freaking brand new Acura for the amount of taxes we had to pay. Unbelievable. When you're a landlord, you have to amortize the repairs to your building. They have a long life, 17 and a half years or 27 million years. Got to amortize the repairs that you've done because they consider them improvements. So we got freaking hammered with a huge tax bill. Freaking hurts big time. But, Florida will always be there, I suppose. Hope to be able to get there. Our black Acura is waiting in Orlando at JM Lexus. Just can't buy it right now. Because I'm causing us to go bankrupt. <laughs> All right. Got to look at the bright side of things. <laughs> I'm going to get my hair cut and my beard shaved. I'm getting too gray. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the sunset.
All right, rolling. No, we're not. No, no, no more bitching. No, but say say nice things now. YouTube's watching. Say nice things. Say I'm so glad you bought another red truck. It's got a Banks turbo on it. Say nice things. Be nice. My husband promises to put money towards the car. For yeah, me. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh oh, saw a birdie. I know, Muggs, I know. There's some birdies on the trail. Got to talk nice now. YouTube's watching. Half an hour of bitching and complaining. You never buy anything from me. You just spend the money. At least the trucks I bought are all worth 300 bucks a ton in scrap. Oh yeah, the trash is down there. Where is it? Right there. No, we gotta go down. No, no, go down over there. Good boy, Muggs. You don't yell at me or bark at me. He doesn't know what to do. Oh, he knows. He loves riding in those Corvairs that I bought in California. All right, I'm gonna go pick up the trash. camera is trying to compensate and make the sky lighter than it is. It's actually a lot dusker. Dusker busker. You never buy me anything. You spend all the money. I've never been anybody like you. What time is it anyways that the sun goes down? 8.08. Alrighty, turn this thing off so you can start yelling at me again. You never buy me anything. I want diamonds, jewelry, I want earrings. I want to be spoiled. Bought her a nice house on the lake. Here she comes. That's what we got to do now. We got to collect empty tin cans for money. Alright. Junk collector, huh? I'll see you. Tomorrow's another work day. Hope you enjoyed your Easter.